Welcome back to Lightning Health. Today we are doing a 10 minute core workout. So one thing you won't hear me say is this is how you can get six pack abs. And the reason for that is because I know it's super clickbaity. I know that I could get hundreds of thousands of people to click on my video if I promised them to get a six pack uh, by doing my ab routine for a week, just 10 minutes a day. But that's not how it works. What we're talking about here, this is called spot treatment and it's been disproven so many times. So the idea that doing abs will get you abs is completely false. And I want you to know that. I think it's really important for you to know that because I think that if we set those expectations, uh, then you're gonna be really disappointed. So fat burning is a full body process. So when you burn calories, you will burn fat, your body will burn fat, but it is not necessarily going to burn fat where you want it to burn fat. And that sucks, but you know, it's just part of how our bodies work. If I do abs, I will not necessarily burn fat around my abs. If I do legs, I will not necessarily burn fat around my legs. So then why do we do abs? And why do we strengthen our core? That's a really good question. And honestly, it's because our rectus abdominis, these guys right here, our transverse abdominis that think of it as like an inner tube around our entire abdominal region, they're super functional. I mean, our transverse abdominis literally holds up our spinal column. So it's super good for us to be doing these core exercises and these ab exercises just for everyday life. But the other reason is because once you get to that lower body fat percentage, then we'll have strengthened these muscles and they'll be ready to pop out, right? And, and have that six pack abs. So I just wanted to make sure that we were squashing that rumor that, you know, doing this ab routine is going to get you a six pack. It won't. You doing cardio and you doing this ab routine and you doing, you know, my leg workout or whatever, you doing these workouts and getting a schedule and being uh, consistent, that is going to get you six pack abs but there's no fast way. There's no way to get a six pack in two weeks, unfortunately. So with all that being said, we are doing a core workout today that is consisting of five exercises. We're gonna be working for 45 seconds and then we are going to be resting for 15 seconds and we are gonna go through that two times. Let's get to some technique. First movement is going to be quadruped step out. So you're gonna find quadruped position. Wrists are gonna be directly underneath our shoulders, knees directly underneath our hips. From here, I'm going to press the floor away. Think about bringing my belly button to my spine, really engaging those transverse abdominis. And then from here, I'm going to tuck my toes under, bring my knees two inches off the floor, and we're gonna go out with the left, out with the right, in with the left, in with the right. Then we'll go out with the right, out with the left, in with the right, out with the left. And we'll be doing that alternating for 45 seconds. So biggest thing about quadruped is that it is super easy if you are not trying to bring your belly button to your spine, if you're not pressing the floor away, uh, but it is incredibly difficult if you are doing those things. So really challenge yourself today, really hold yourself accountable. Next movement is going to be boat pose kickouts. So we are going to sit up nice and tall, hands on our knees. We're going to lean back, find balance on our sits bones. And then from here, let go of your hands. Then we are going to kick out our right foot and return. Kick out our left foot and return. We will alternate for those 45 seconds. Next we have penguins. So we're going to lean back, have our knees up from here, palms facing the ceiling, bring our shoulders off of the floor, really squeeze our abs. And from here, I'm going to rotate to the right, neutral, back. Neutral, really engaging my obliques here. And nice and slow. We're not doing these fast today. After penguins, we will flip over and get into our plank position for mountain climbers. So, mountain climbers, you're thinking about getting your knees up, opposite knee to elbow, really squeeze, and then return. So we're not doing fast mountain climbers today. We're keeping that really solid plank position. We're not letting our butt come up. We're thinking about really squeezing trying to get our knee as high up to our elbow as possible. What I don't want to see is us leaning in to get our knee there. I want you to think about really squeezing your abs to get your knee up to your elbow. Oh, I'm already exhausted. And then lastly, we have the half body crunch. So if you're feeling really good throughout this workout, you can absolutely do a full body crunch here. Uh, but today I'm going to be doing a half body crunch. I'm going to be back on my elbows feet are going to be completely straight out in front of me. From here, I'm going to bring my knees up and all the way back down. So I'm never resting them on the floor. 
This is gonna feel pretty easy right now, but after the rest of the abs that we've been doing, it's gonna feel quite tough in the workout. Okay, let's get started. Alrighty, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, starting with those quadruped step outs. Starting in three, two, one, here we go. Belly button to spine, out with the right, out with the left, in with the right, in with the left, out with the left, out with the right, in with the left, in with the right. Good, keep it going, nice and slow. Push the floor away with your shoulders. Fifteen seconds. Two, one, and rest. Moving on to those boat pose kickouts. Yeah, those are just as hard as I thought they would be. It's good, it's good. Going in, three, two, one. Find that boat pose, kick out with your right, and back. And to make these a little bit harder, you can lean back a little bit. For a lot of people, the tricky part here is just finding balance. Ten seconds. Two, one, and rest. On to penguins, we can just lean back. Starting in two, one. Shoulders come off the floor, nice and slow. Engage those obliques. Don't forget to breathe. It's my problem when I'm doing core. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Flip on over for mountain climbers. So again, these mountain climbers, we're not going out of control here. Nice and slow, control the movement, really squeeze at the top. Three, two, one, here we go. Plank position, bring that knee to opposite elbow, and reset. Again, really engaging my obliques here. but I want to make sure that my shoulders are staying directly on top of my wrist. So I don't want to go too far forward. I don't want to be too far back here. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Good. Last movement, half body crunch. Then we're just going to go through this one more time. Luckily I'm already sweating. Okay, five seconds, lean back. Two, one, here we go. Really squeeze, and all the way out. I'm really squeezing at the top, and I'm trying to extend, extend, extend at the bottom. Push your lower back into the floor.
seconds. Two, one, and rest. Flip on over. We're going through all that one more time. Quadruped step outs. Going in. Five. Wrists underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips. Find a neutral spine position. Tuck those toes under. Here we go. Out with the left. Out with the right. In with the left. In with the right. Out with the right. Out with the left. In with the right. In with the left. Belly button to spine. Really squeeze, really squeeze. Push the floor away. Five seconds. And rest. Foot pose kickouts. Here we go. Five seconds. And go. Lay back for penguin. Push that lower back into the floor. Then really bring your belly button to your spine. And here we go. Obliques, obliques. Yeah, her love can make a person hazy. Praying she won't break me down. Nice and slow. I'm be around my tempo, and each time you turn, I want you to really squeeze your obliques as hard as possible. Fifteen seconds. Keep those shoulders up. Let your shoulders drop. Hot. Three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, mountain climbers, my obliques, we're cramping up, yeah. Five seconds, here we go. Find your plank position and go. Last movement and then we are done. Oh, I hope you're feeling this as much as I am. Okay, last one. Half body crunch. Here we go. Really squeeze at the top. And then all the way out. Really squeeze at the top. All the way out, nice and slow. Lower back into the floor. If you feel your lower back a lot when you're doing abs, this is actually a really good one because you can put more pressure into your elbows. 
alleviate some of the pressure from your lower back. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Oh, guys, 10 minutes of core. That's all you need to get a six pack. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh, thank you so much for doing 10 minutes of core with me today. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time.